Hi there, welcome to another training video from Microchannel. In today's session, we feature K-Motion Warehouse Edge and we will go through the very critical part of warehouse process cycle that is the inventory counting process. In a typical warehouse, inventory counting is performed to compare inventory amounts and see if there are variances against what was actually recorded. It is mostly during this inventory counting times that people in the organization, especially the ones who manages the warehouse, would know if there are irregularities, unusual variances, or discrepancies on the way how inventories are managed. There are two types of inventory counting that are best performed as a standard operating procedure in the warehouse. We'll go through that two types of inventory counting following the existing features that Warehouse Edge has. To create counts, we navigate through the menu, go through Work Centers under KMotion Warehouse Edge module, and then Counts. From this window, we can see two types of counts that is readily available in Warehouse Edge. We do have Cycle Count and Full Count. Let us first start with creating a cycle count. Cycle count refers to a regular and rutinary procedure that would only require to count a limited amount of stock and also in specific sections of the warehouse. Cycle count can be performed at any given time and even while the other warehouse operations are taking place. So most organizations, they do have cycle counts scheduled on a regular interval. So for our example, we create cycle count. The system will require us to create a count name. Client refers to the client we manage in the system, which normally is configured when the company is using the 3PL add-on. Location refers to the location of our warehouses. For this example, we use the global since I only have one warehouse managed in WMS. We do have the option to create cycle count by bin or create a cycle count by product. So for this example, we create cycle count by bin, click on next, and system will list all the bins that we have in the warehouse. We further create a filter, say for example, I wanted to count all the products under bin P0000. We click on next and schedule can be defined as when the cycle count would start and the number of days it would take to complete this count. Say, for example, since we only have one bin to count, I wanted to start the count date on this date here. And it should only take the warehouse user one day to complete the count. Then we click on finish. All created counts will be listed in this window. So say, for example, we wanted to start counting following cycle count one as scheduled. As Warehouse Edge is integrated with all mobile devices or handhelds, normally warehouse users would use handheld devices to count products or to pick or to perform any other warehouse procedures. So in this example, we'll use the handheld web interface of Warehouse Edge. So this emulates what users would normally see on a regular handheld device. So say we wanted to proceed with cycle count one, we choose cycle count. and select directed count. We click all zones, first pin, 
would want to count would be system will then notify the user as to the expected number of inventories in this bin. User would just have to scan the product barcodes. In this example, since we don't have the barcodes, we go to the items list and select the product that we'd like to use or we'd like to count. So pack sizes and the quantity of the item that we can find on the bin. Say user counted three or two, then we'll proceed to the next item that can be found on the bin. We use the default pack size and then the quantity that we have counted. So the expected would be zero over zero. That means we have completely counted all the items found on the pins. Then user would just have to click complete. Back to the work center. As users on the warehouse complete their cycle counts, once refreshed, status of the cycle count will then be marked as counted. So the other type of count that we can do in Warehouse Edge is full count. Full count refers to the wall-to-wall -wall count of the entire inventory in the warehouse. It is usually performed during the initial setup and then on a regular scheduled interval, which normally happens annually. So unlike cycle counts, full counts would require the warehouse operations to be stopped to be able to count every piece of inventory. So the same with cycle counts, user would be asked to define a cycle count name, a client, location, and then the warehouse. So basically, the same process will be used. It's just that we cannot define specific pin to count when performing full counts. So technically, what is available in these screens would only be the warehouses that we wanted to count. On the process, there will be warnings before proceeding with full counts. So those are two types of inventory counts we can do in Warehouse Edge. So why would you consider automating these processes? We all know how crucial and tedious inventory counting can be and doing it manually regardless of how straightforward or simple your steps can be, it can take a lot of labor acts. Of course, all business stockholders would only want to maximize their workforces, increase their efficiency, and optimize warehouse processes. And setting up a warehouse management system that can simplify these business processes for all the people in the warehouse is always a good business investment. Hope you learned something today. Have a great day.